What is going on guys? One more time bring guys my first ever episode of my new spin-off show, NFL Station. The show is a spin-off of Washington Station. And I thought what better way to introduce the show than a Super Bowl preview. We got Super Bowl 55 this weekend between the Chiefs and the Buccaneers. I'm super excited for this game. I know you are. Um I'm excited to go see some friends and watch it with some friends. And um I'm really Excited for this matchup. I think this is a Super Bowl that a lot of us really want to see. The old guard versus the new guard with Brady versus some Holmes. Um, Steelers fans, you get to see Antonio Brown versus Le'Veon Bell. Uh, you get Gronk. Patriots fans, you get Brady and Gronk back in the Super Bowl. And it's just so many, so many um, great things going into this week. You got Scotty Miller versus Tyreek Hill. If you know my reference, then you're a goat. All right, cool. Um... So what do I think is going to happen this weekend? This is going to be a tough matchup. I think it's going to be very offensive. The Buccaneers have a very good defense, and Chiefs have a decent defense. So I think it's either going to be a defensive game or an offensive game. Just for everything, can it not be Super Bowl 53? I will tear my eyes out if I see another Super Bowl that, that's boring, like the ones between the Rams and the Patriots. That was the most boring Super Bowl I ever watched. Um, so... At least the Seahawks blowout was entertaining to watch. At least they made big plays all game, you know. Um, but, you know, this could go either way. Um, Pat Mahomes, I mean, there's not enough you can say about this guy. He's super talented. He has potential. All right, I'm going to go on a little tangent here. He is not the greatest player of all time. He is not the greatest quarterback of all time. He has the potential to be the greatest of all time. He's not there. Brady is there. To get to that level, Pat Mahomes will have to reach Brady's success and excel it. Because Brady's level of success is far beyond the imagination of what many of us consider to be successful in the uh, football world. And, um, you know, he's going after his seventh Super Bowl, his tenth appearance. You know, he said in his interview, he said, what's different about this time around? Well, he's like, well, it's much different in the past ten year, past nine times. It was a setup for him to say that, but, I mean... That's the point. He's been here nine previous times. And his experience, I think the Super Bowl experience can help him. And there's one quarterback Pat Mahomes has lost to in the playoffs. And that's Brady. Pat Mahomes, the comeback king in the playoffs. I mean, last season. Whew, the comebacks he had to make. This season, he didn't have to make such comebacks, you know. Usually, they played the whole game like they should and won. Rightfully so. Uh... But this game is going to be good. I think it's going to be a... My opinion is going to be a shootout. Whoever has the ball last is going to win the Super Bowl. That is my firm opinion. Granted, that will come with a field goal or a touchdown. I don't know. But I do believe who has the ball last will win the Super Bowl. I um, I do think the Bucks have the leverage with a better defense. That can... If they're healthy, they got Antoine Winfield back... And they get their other starting safety in corners. Whew. That's scary. That's scary for the Chiefs. Because everybody can stop. There's nobody that's unstoppable. And I know they say Travis Kelsey can be unstoppable. Tyree Kill, McCole Harmon, Pat Mahomes. We have all these playmakers. There's always one team that can stop them. It was the Raiders earlier this season. But I do believe the Bucks can do it. They didn't do it earlier in the season. They lost to the Chiefs. I don't think it's going to happen again. I really don't. I think this game is going to be very entertaining. I think the Bucks are going to come out on top. I think the Bucks will win. And uh, If I had to give a final prediction, I would say Buccaneers will win by five points. But it's going to be a shootout. It's going to be a tough game. It's going, it's going to be probably the most entertaining game of the season. Um, except for the Washington Dallas on Thanksgiving. That was like feasting on good football to watch. Probably noticed it was a big cut in the video. I had to step away for a minute, but I am back and I don't know where I left off. So I'm just going to start here and slowly start my wrap up. So, 
I believe I was leaving off saying I believe the Bucks are going to win. So, uh, I do. And but I don't think there's going to be a big win. Like I said before, it's a shootout. It's going to be close. It's Mike, I think Brady's going to end up with the ball last, and he's going to come down and win the game. Sorry, again, yeah, my camera just died. I am having a great day shooting this video. Anyway, I believe it's written in the stars. Brady's going to win. Um, like I said, Brady, yeah, my camera died, so recording on my phone camera. But uh, I do believe, I do believe that Pat can win. I think it's very possible. I, I do see a reality where the Chiefs do win this game. Obviously, I do not think they will. I do believe Brady will come out on top. I had this feeling. They have too many weapons. I don't think the Chiefs can cover their weapons. You got Antonio Brown, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, um, Scotty Miller, Ron Kowski, Cameron Braid, O.J. Howard. Who's the number receiver? Johnson, number 18. I don't want to say his name wrong. Tyler Johnson, Tyler Johnson. Um... Leonard Fournette, Ronald Jones, LaShawn McCoy. I mean, and that's not even naming everybody. They have more players on that team. Their line is good, and Brady is still amazing as he's always been. So this game, I believe, Bucks will win just because of their overwhelming amount of talent. I think that's what it's going to come down to, and I think they're going to win off that. They're just overwhelming insane amount of talent and I think that's really what's going to come down to but like I said uh, this video is all over the place because I've had to cut it three times but um Buccaneers I believe will win by five-ish points Brady will have the ball last and to wrap it up uh, I'm just I just want a good game no matter what I just want a really good game between Pat and Tom and just both teams in general I think Bruce Arians versus Andy Reid is a good matchup of coaches. Um, I like their philosophies. I like their ways of coaching. And I think this is going to be a very exciting weekend. Um, that's for sure. It's different because of COVID, obviously. Um, but I still believe we are in for a great weekend of football, starting with, well, just with this game. I'm excited for the halftime show. I'm a fan of the weekend. Um, going on to my music side for a minute. My next album is heavily influenced by his past album, um, After Hours. Uh, that album has a very big impact on the next album. So if you've listened to some of those main songs off of that and some of the deep cuts on that album too, um, you're you're going to find a lot of what my next music is going to sound like. It's very similar. And um, you'll be hearing, and for those who know my music, you'll be hearing about it very soon. I got a lot of stuff on the way. Um, speaking of which, I'm going to make a video talking more about all this stuff I got going on with my videos. And I'm going to fill you in on everything that's coming up because it's a lot and I really want to fill you guys in on everything. I'm Will Morris. Uh, let's have a good Super Bowl weekend, Super Bowl 55. Let's get it. Let's go. And I'm out. Stay safe. Check out all the links below. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Make sure to like this button video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button. So you're notified every single time I put a brand new episode because this will not be the last episode of NFL Station. There will be a new one next week after the Super Bowl. I'm super excited to bring this new show to y'all. I'm doing so many shows right now. I'm super excited. I'm super amped up. And uh, I'll catch y'all later. I'm Morrison. I'm out. Peace.